Welcome back to Let's Play Pokémon Crystal Version. Last time, we went back to Ecruteak City and we visited the Tin Tower. We had been told by the director of the Radio Tower that this ancient bell he gave us had something to do with the Tin Tower. When we made it there, the sages told us that it was time for us to meet with Suicune. And after passing a test, we met the legendary Pokémon. We fought him in battle, and we actually managed to capture Suicune, so we passed the test. And now, it's time for us to continue our journey east towards Blackthorn City. So, before I go, I want to show you something. In between episodes, I did a bit of training. I figured it was a nice morning and it was the perfect time to train. So I went back and I took Parasite. And I did some level up around the Lake of Rage. So, now Parasite is level 37. I had him catch up to the rest of the team. And he learned two new moves. He learned Slash and Spore. So he's actually very good right now. The fact that he's level 37 means I might not train him that much on screen. But if, if things go south, we have a strong Pokémon with us. So he's got our back. For now, I would like to keep training Therion. I did some research and I found out how to get a Fire Stone. But it's going to take a while. We can only do that later in the game. So for now, let's keep going. Therion is still very good. I'm gonna win for sure. So let's see what kind of trainers we can find here. A Psychic, huh? Well, Psychic Phil, that's perfect! Because it just so turns out that our buddy Therion has a perfect move to fight Psychic-type Pokémon. Oh yeah! That's a wicked bite, Therion. What's next? Kadabra! Kadabra with his secret. I will tell you one secret. Watch closely now, as I faint. Nice. Well, Furion, I'd say that was a bit easy for you. Ah, that's a shocking loss. Oh, we're getting a call from Mom, huh? Hi, Chris. How are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it! I wonder what she got us this time. I'm so grateful for that Moonstone she got us. Oh, a Max Repel. That's probably going to come in handy where we're going. Oh, there's a Fisherman here. If he's fishing, I'm not going to battle him with Firion. I'm going to switch to Nikita. Let's make this easy for ourselves, shall we? Good day! I fish until I can't anymore. I also battle until I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokémon. So you work them really hard, huh? I guess they're tough. Let's see what kind of tough Pokémon Fisher Edgar has. A Remoraid, huh? I've never seen that one. Well, I mean, I've seen Remoraid in the past, but it's the first time we encounter Remoraid in the game. Oh, we missed! Oh, and it knows Aurora Beam, huh? Ouch! I wasn't expecting that. Come on, Nikita, we can't miss! This guy knows ice moves. What a strange Pokémon Remoraid is. Especially since, well, it evolves into some sort of octopus. It makes no sense to me. How would a fish evolve into an octopus? A Remoraid. I wonder if I'm pronouncing pronouncing the name properly. Remoraid? Remoraid. Remoraid? Gatorade. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Not that it really matters, because he's gone. Good job, Nikita. Hmm, this isn't right. Another call from Mom? Goodness gravy. While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your room. You'll love it. We should go check up on our room. We have two new dolls now. 
We should probably check it out soon. Oh, my goodness. She spotted us from far. She's got eagle eyes, that one. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. Oh, that attitude. She must be a cool trainer. It's the first time we encounter one. Yeah. Cool trainer Sibyl. Oh, what a sick name, too. What Pokemon has she got? Butterfree. Aw, it reminds me of Ringo from our Pokemon Yellow playthrough. Aw, oh, Ringo, I miss you, buddy. You were such a great Pokemon. I can't believe we took Ringo all the way to the Pokemon League, too. It was great, I mean, it was the first time I kept a Butterfree all the way to the end of the game, and he proved to be very useful. You just need to give him a very good moveset. Which is, what is cool about Butterfree is that while his stats may not be that amazing, he definitely has a great moveset, he can learn a lot of different things. So you can still make Butterfree very useful to your team. Though I guess... You can make Butterfree useful to your team if you're playing against the computer. If you're playing the main story, you'll be fine. If you try to bring Butterfree to a competitive scene with actual players fighting you, I doubt Butterfree could do much. There's probably a lot of other, other Pokémon who can have awesome movesets like Butterfree. But unlike Butterfree, they have decent stats. The competitive scene is so harsh, I mean... Isn't it much more fun to use your favorite Pokémon anyway? The problem when you go competitive is that some of your favorites might just not be appropriate for competition. They just can't match up to these other Pokémon, you know? It's not always balanced. It's a shame. But it's still a fun scene. I mean, it's fun sometimes to put yourself to the test and really go all out and try to be the best you can. Some of my friends would disagree with me, but I, I do find it rewarding and fun to try to succeed and beat some really tough opponents. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokémon, and I can see that you are too. So this guy is a cool trainer too, I guess. You know you're getting close to the end of the game when you start encountering these cool trainers. Cool Trainer Allen. He's got only one Pokémon. Oh! Oh! Charmeleon! Huh. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if Nikita can take it. I mean, there is a big level difference, so we should be safe. I'm surprised. Pokémon are very low level in this area. The gym leaders are strong, but the trainers? Not so much. It's kind of a shame. Well, I mean, we're still very early in the game. We may have seven badges, but this is Pokémon Crystal. There's not only eight gyms in this game. Tch, it's a total loss on my part. Well, at least he admits it. Hmm, I, I need to go around the lake. I want to see what I can find. Just judging from the green color scheme of that trainer, it's probably a picnicker. Oh, but the creepy music makes me believe it makes me believe otherwise. I'll do anything to get my hands on rare Pokémon. It, it's a Pokémaniac for sure. Why are Pokémaniacs so creepy? Look at that guy with his freaking purple cloak. He 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 really looks like a rare hunter from Yu-Gi-Oh. I will summon Exodia! Hey! It's Pokemaniac Zack! Finally! It is time! Zack! Zack! He's a Pokemaniac! I, I've been waiting all my life for this moment, just so I could make that joke. Okay. Rhyhorn, huh? It is a rare and cool Pokemon, I'll give you that. Oh, I keep missing with Razor Leaf. I'm not very lucky. It's okay, Nikita. I know Razor Leaf is not that accurate a move. That's why I want you to learn something else. Another great Grass-type move would be very welcome right now. I just don't know what Nikita will learn, will learn next. The fact that she's got a flower around her neck really makes me hope that she will learn Petal Dance. Oh, your Pokémon are so appealing! 
Well, they're mine, so... You can look, but you can't touch. Oh, another Fisher guy. Ah! You made me lose a polywag! What are you going to do about it? Sheesh, it, it's just a polywag. You can catch another one. Plus, I'm sure around this time of day, they just show up in swarms. So he's got Goldeen, huh? Well, that's no issue. You know why? Because even if Goldeen does no peck, with that level difference, it's not going to do much. And worst comes to worst, we could just use Synthesis. It's the middle of the day, so Synthesis will be at the top of its strength. It would probably heal us completely. If I remember, if I remember correctly, during the night, Synthesis is a lot less efficient. Um, there is an equivalent to Synthesis for the nighttime, a move that heals you during the night. I think it's called Moonlight. Hmm, or maybe that's just in more recent games. I don't know. I seem to remember Bellossom learning Moonlight. I could be wrong. Maybe it's Vileplume? Yeah, I guess Bellossom is the daytime variant to Vileplume. I think that makes sense. Vileplume would learn Moonlight. Bellossom could learn Synthesis. Well, I'm just saying that, but I've yet to check that information. I might be wrong. I think it just makes sense. I always loved Bellossom as a Pokémon. Which is why I wanted to go back to the Elex Forest and catch an Oddish. Okay, I think it's about time I address this. While we surf, I'll let you guys know. Even if we encounter a wild Pokémon, I'll just keep explaining my point. So, um... Speaking of catching an Oddish, right now we've been using pretty much the same Pokémon since the beginning. There's very little variation. I mean, I did switch things around and we have Parasite, who is on and off on the team. But I'd like to have more Pokémon that are on and off. There's a lot of Pokémon I would like to train. I've been talking about training a Meow. I also wanted to catch, uh, very early on in the game, I wanted to catch Fanpy by returning to this area close to the beginning. Fanpy can only be found in the morning, so... This morning, when I was doing my training, I went back and I caught a Fanpy. So, at the very least, I would like to train these Pokémon off-screen, and then I would spare you that grinding because, of course, they're very low level compared to where we are in the game. But yeah, I would like to catch these guys and train them off screen so that they're ready to use once I start the next episode and then I would introduce them to you. I know that it's not like the guys we have now who've been around since the beginning, we've grown attached to them, but these new Pokémon will have plenty of time to grow attached to them too. We're still early in our journey. So, I'm going to do that. When I make it to Blackthorn City, I'll show you guys some new Pokémon that I caught. Does that sound good? Yeah, of course, some of our veterans will stay on the team. We need some veterans with us if we're going to train some new guys. But yeah, I'll have some new Pokémon to show you next time. I think that's going to be refreshing. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokémon? Well, I know about a few legendary bird Pokémon. There's Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, and then there's this rainbow-colored bird that the sages mentioned in Ecrutique. I wonder if he's referring to... Oho, Lugia, or the three elemental birds. Who knows, really? By that time, there were so many legendary bird Pokémon. He could be talking about any of them. Another Pidgeotto. Well, that's fine. Um, how about... I we'll let Furion take it out. Nikita is so close to leveling up, it's like... The blue bar is all the way to the end. Furion, show off your flame wheel. It's such a cool move, I'm glad Furion learned that. 
It's a nice change from Ember, that's for sure. Though, something I'm wondering about was that... You know how now it's very clear if a move uses your physical attack stat or your special attack stat, it's clearly indicated when you look at that move's description. Um, because of course, Pokémon will be specialized in either physical attack or special attack. I was trying to explain that to my coworker the other day when, when we were playing Pokémon, and it seemed to completely escape her, so I had to draw out, to draw this chart to explain it to her clearly, and she got it. But yeah, see how Growlithe has more special attack than physical attack. I was concerned that his moves were actually all physical attack moves. He wouldn't be able to use them quite as efficiently. If they were special attack moves, then, then we'd be set. But it, there's no way for us to know, because this is Pokémon Crystal. I think, and I'm just putting that out there, I think that um, the nature of a move will be determined by whether by its type. So if it's a fire attack, for example, it's always going to be a special type of move. And if it's a normal attack, then it's always going to be a physical type of move. That's just my guess. If you guys know, make sure to let me know in the comments. I would be very happy to find out. It looks like we made it to our next destination. This is the Ice Path. So, we'll have to make our way through the icy mountains if we want to go to Blackthorn City. I'm looking forward to being in Blackthorn because one of my all-time favorite gym leaders is there. So, until we make it there, we'll have to cross the Ice Path. And that's going to be for next time. Until next time, everyone, I wish you all a great day. And thanks for watching!